with the objects and you clearly make or the objects more in relation to the movement? How does it? How is the progress of the evolution of the work come about? Um, I actually love to make things since I'm a sculptor to begin with, but then like to do a dance or So I make the things and then I'll do a little movement in the in the mornings when I wake up. I'll take a break because you can't hunch over as an artist. So um, it, I wanted to do everything. I wanted to do all kinds of things. So I. I was wondering, I've seen more of your work now, but could you talk a little bit about this specific episode of this performance? It's number three, right? And is there, are there a set of ideas? Sure, three hasn't come yet, but I wrote three. Yeah. I thought we thought, maybe it's two. Okay, maybe, maybe just There's put it no next episode. Week. Well, the wings are the second part of the episode. Okay. Or Can you talk I a little bit about the episode? How it started well, when it got to here? Okay, it started with the, the middle body with the head on top. And um, sometimes during the course of the performance, like we'll switch right before the show, and I think I should put the wings on first and the wings on. So it started with this part, with the full body leggings, and that was the beginning. And then, it's, then I added some, I had to do a show called Paper Wings, so I made a black set of wings, but they wouldn't reflect images, so I made another set of wings. And then somebody told me, they asked me how do I, they make peacock feathers, peacock wings. So I researched it and I started to come out with these wings. And the next show is called Emeralds on Ice, and I don't know how. I have to match my titles, I catch up to my titles. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really have anything to do with the title, it's just an image that entices you to start to dream, I guess that's how I would say it. Yeah. And I was curious, do you want the viewers to have a specific set of dreams when you dream you dance to them? Or is it all up to, it's them. Up to them to do whatever they wish? It's all, it's all up to them. Do you have any other questions that you'd like to have? Does someone have a question? Do you have a set of moves? Don't be shy. Do you have a set of moves that you intend? I mean, I saw you moved trying to pick up objects, but did you know exactly? When you're going to pick up the object? No, it's when it comes into view. I'll have this headdress on, and sometimes it'll hang off to the left, and I can't see anything. And then I, I just when I comes into my focus, I'll have an intention, but it won't really, it won't really. And just a sound. Shoshone, Christian here. Oh, what was your question? Six months or a year, 
and maybe I'll drag in some of the older parts into the show as it starts to mature, and then I'll drop them off and they become part of the exhibit, as you see here. Did she answer the question at all? Did I answer any of this? Why do I do it? Yeah, the answer the question is, was it? I do also just want to say, I, don't, I can't speak for a single artist's intention, but I've been writing on the arts for a long time. And it seems to me that the performance of arts accomplish something that is peculiar, which is they are developed in time. You can only be there with them when they're being done, so music can dance. And they create a, a space of the imagination that's unlike a more static artwork, like a painting or a sculpture. So that is the accomplishment of performance by and large in my estimation. If he asked what if if, he, if it was asked him why you perform, but he may ask you even the other. Yes, the bigger question. Yes, the bigger question: Why do you do it at all? But look, but since the red jumpsuit was asked, the question why. Do you have any any questions? Um, yeah. What was your childhood like? What was my childhood like? <laughs> <laughs> I I was an only child for the first eleven years, mm -hmm. so I played by myself a lot. And I just made up stories and sort of like a, I made a trail, like a, um, an imagine, like a, a forest, like going through a forest. I have these scenes in this whole room to myself, and I have these journeys. And the performance is kind of a recre recreation of those little journeys. I'd make out paper cutouts, and parts of the room would have stuff stuck on the walls. And keep working around the room. But I had a lot of time alone. And then my brother was born when I was 11, 12, and I had to take care of him a little bit. But I got to, uh, my stepfather taught me how to sew. And he taught my brother too. And he made, so and he made sails and cushions. And I do this. <laughs> and the, um, this, the lights that you've brought in, is this a later thing for you, bringing in the dappled lights and colors? Well, the, these dappled lights are recent. Everyone yes. sees them now, yes. last year. Um, but the, the projections are my drawings that yes. I make, and I needed, I, when I was in art school, they kept, they kept saying, well, yeah, you're not doing, you're doing craft. I mean, um, you, you, painting and drawing is so freeing, direct, and so this was one way I could incorporate, make a canvas to project it on, or this wall, sure. to make, put drawings mm -hmm. into the artwork. And so that's what's happening with the invention of the projector and all these new things. Thank you. I was also curious about your dance training. Because it's clear that you have an influence and interest in no. Is there any Bhutto or other type of dances that you bring in? Because it seems like you sort of really concentrate on kind of a micro like out vocabulary. It is very small, near to everyday movements, but they're also doing things that people would not Some realize. Some of the stuff I'm going to bend down. <laughs> <Is that? laughs> Um, my dance training, well, I did, oh, yeah, um, I was interested in the, I guess, the, the, the Buto, you had a PG got a projection up here, and I saw Kyle Wono early in those years, and they go in coma, I don't know if they're come out here anymore. They don't anymore, unfortunately for us. Oh. They don't come out and be here for a long time. They're yeah. amazing. Yeah, they were my, they were my, my age. So, I thought, when I saw that work, I said, no, I couldn't involve everything I do into the performance. And that, that triggered the rest of it. Because I was making puppets and I was making sculptures and trying to do some movement, but I was saying ballet, it didn't really fit. But now I was in Indonesia for many years, for five years, and that all those movements and they don't, Asian dances, they don't move a lot. They do finger movements, like Hawaiian dance. They, sure. And these things don't look good if they're too fast. I actually should be slower. 
can make them more like a photograph micro. <laughs> They seem, they seem very, very enchanting the way they work. Mm -hmm. You can do slower, faster, but the taste was different. I think also they'd like to thank your soundtrack. You did a great job, too. Oh, he's out for thank you. Once again, thank you, Shasha, mm -hmm. for coming. Mm -hmm.